Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today. Today I thought I would do my September favourites and I cannot believe that I'm saying that. <laughs> it only seems like yesterday I was doing August or July favourites and now we're into October. But isn't October such a pretty month really? I mean the leaves changing, it's sweater weather, pumpkin spice lattes, oh, I just love it, and cozying in. So I'm just, these are just a few of the products that um, I want to share with you for the month of September. So I'm gonna just get straight in. I don't have a foundation that I really loved and used consistently, consistently this month, but I have some face products. And the first one is that one that my daughter purchased for me. Now it was later in this in the month purchase but I've just fallen for it and it's a Flormar um, baked blush and it's in the colour it's called terracotta blush on that's it there will that focus it might and it's such a pretty colour it's a lovely mauvey colour and it has the little um, shimmer built into it so you don't really need to use um, you don't necessarily have to use a um, a highlighter because it's built in now I don't know if you can see it there it gives a little pearlescence on my hand but I have it on today and I absolutely love it and it's such a lovely shade for this time of the year you can see it better maybe on my finger it's a lovely mauvey color for the autumn so I've really been loving that and actually it's really really cute <laughs> there's a tiny little mirror that's a little mirror built in there <laughs> and so I've been loving that now another blush that I've been loving and I've pulled out again on <laughs> partly because I'm trying to use it up because I have it quite a while but it um I do love it and I do I do use it consistently. Now the packaging unfortunately has broken so the little mirror has come away. But look how much that's loved. This is NARS Orgasm Blush and everybody knows that it's a cult product. There is that beautiful peachy um per, uh, pearlescent bronzer blush that is just so flattering on all skin types and looks different on all skin types and um, I really really have enjoyed that this month I've just been drawn to it maybe it's the tone for the autumn coming in and um, lipstick wise uh, I always kind of judge my favorites on as to what lipstick I leave in my little purse that I carry in my bag every day and I generally try and pull out I generally put into my bag the lipstick that I've chosen to go with the look but it doesn't always happen so the I whatever lipstick has been in my purse consistently for the month is what I would consider to be my favorite so this one is MAC syrup and it is to read this with my glasses um it's a luster I don't know if that will show up might you might just be able to read that but it's mac syrup and that's the color there it's a lovely berry tone sorry I have mascara on my hand it's a lovely berry tone and um that's what I have on me today and I have had this in my everyday makeup purse all month it goes with so many things it's so comfortable on the lips it doesn't dry your lips out it's it's got a lovely slip to it so I've really been enjoying that um, I discovered a lovely makeup brush in Primark or Pennies as it's known here in Ireland and this one I think it's their um, is it their PS Pro range um, and this one is the tapered blush brush it's number 116 that's it there but look at the shape I have just fallen for this it's tapered obviously <laughs> but it's lovely and soft and I am not using it for blush I'm actually using it for powder because it just picks up enough powder to just literally dab on where you want it and it doesn't over it doesn't pick up too much product so you don't overload your face with product and um, I've really been loving that and it was four euro and it, they, they look so they look so sleek because they have a new type of handle it's like um oh it's like a matte handle um, and the name of it printed on it 
really am really impressed with these so I will be buying more of those to try so another product that I have mentioned before but I've really been enjoying it this month because I've been really careful about br washing my brushes and and it, that is the Primark brush cleaner so it's a silicone mitt you pop your hand in it's double sided you can see this is the side I have used I have no idea why I haven't used the other side because they're well they're practically the same um actually no they're not they're not quite but they have different shapes but this um are different indentations on the silicone this tells you there to, that's where you cleanse the your brushes and then there this area is where you rinse and I don't know if that's going to pick up you can just about see it there so um and you can hang it then when you're finished and to let it dry and this is washed so what I was doing was a little bit of um Dr Bronner's liquid castile soap and water and just work as you can see the circle there where it says to cleanse it's just the most natural thing you work your brush into it like that until it you get it until it runs clean more or less and then you rinse by sorry I'm not demonstrating it very well but you would point downwards so that you don't get the water into this part of the brush where the glue would be so you don't start it doesn't start shedding so it's really really easy to use and makes brush cleaning much simpler and you can do that they just they have different patterns on each side um to me that's the most comfortable way to do it but i suppose you could do that side like that either actually this one says scrub i don't know if you can read that there that says scrub there in the middle and rinse there as well that's very similar to the other side they're just slightly different indentations so depending on the brushes you're using but i have really really enjoyed that so very impressed um my last makeup item is one i'm very excited about and it was my daughter had friends home from the states and they brought, they brought this to me and it is the emily edit from makeup revolution the needs palette i am so impressed with this palette um, I won't blind you, but it has a beautiful mirror, as you can see, and it's the full size. It's sturdy packaging. Doesn't feel like it's going to break. Um, it's really, really sturdy, and you have these beautiful colors. So you have your bronzer or your contour. You have a highlight, and you have a blush, and they are called Courage joy and gratitude what beautiful names then we have a setting powder here which is called kindness and then you have six eyeshadow shades um one is, this is honesty this one is passion this one is peace then we have love and we have hope and we have faith and i do know from watching emily speak about these palettes that each name was chosen with such care and such thought and i am wearing these three today so i put peace all over my lid i put honesty into my crease as a transition and i put passion into the outer v so you can see that there i am so impressed the color the pigmentation is really really good and they last so well on the lid they don't break down they don't fade they are just beautiful and the same with the cheek products and the powder now I don't have the cheek products on today because I was wearing my Florimar blush to show you but I will be doing a get ready with me using this palette and I am just so impressed with it and the mirror is just so useful you could sit and do your whole face it's just fantastic and for the price point it's amazing and um, I know I don't think well we definitely don't have them in store yet i am hopeful that they will make it to this side of the atlantic but they are available online i think this is 15 dollars. i'm keeping it in its little original um box i think it's 15 dollars, so i'm not sure what that would convert to maybe 18 euro thereabouts um and it's beautifully presented and i love the color who wouldn't like pink so very impressed with that then i have a hand lotion because this time of the year once the weather starts to turn a little bit colder my hands start to, to dry out 
very quickly and my nails as well and my daughter had said to me mum try this it's really really good and it's one I've used many years ago but I haven't used it in a long time and it's the Vaseline Intensive Care Healthy Hands Stronger Nails with Keratin 10 times stronger nails in two weeks and um, with micro droplets of Vaseline Jelly non-greasy hand cream and it is a lovely hand cream it soaks in or sinks into your skin very very quickly so it doesn't leave you with any greasy residue and it's very it just it, I'll just show you it's a kind of a pinky liquid it comes out nice and easily and it just oh it's just so easily absorbed it's lovely and light and um, kind of has a nice scent as well not nothing overwhelming but it's just a nice lotion and it's good for good for your nails as well so if you're like me and you're looking for a lotion that maybe you could use throughout the day um from you know every time you wash your hands to pop a little bit on because sometimes in the winter i will use a, a heavier or a thicker hand lotion for going to bed at night so that it, it, it will work overnight but i've been using that at night as well and i'm really enjoying it now my last two products are hair products and i'm i've really fallen for these these are the pantene pro v superfood full and strong shampoo and conditioner sorry I'm blocking that there so this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner and um, they have Pro-V blend antioxidants and lipids and I'm just going to read to you what it says because I've been so impressed with these Pantene superfood shampoo washes in proactive Pro-V nutrients to transform weak thin hair into stronger fuller looking hair from the root Pro-V blend helps restore hair strength and instantly reverses signs of damage. Antioxidants protect hair from free radicals to help protect from breakage and lipids replenish to help maintain structural integrity of hair. And um, I'm just so, so impressed with these. The first time I used them, I knew by the feel of my hair afterwards that it was stronger, it had more body, it would hold its style better. Um, to me, it, they're up there with the OGX biotin and keratin. They're similar um, to those. I felt a similar result in my hair. So at the moment, I think they're on half price or they're on offer for like two nine two euro ninety nine in Boots. But Boots regularly do, you know, half price or three for two. Um, I went in to buy more yesterday and they were sold out of that particular one. So I'll have to go back in now during the week and buy some more because my family seem to enjoy them as well so they're all my my favorites for the month of September please let me know in the comment box below what your favorites have been any products that I would like to know any you know that any new products that you've been enjoying that I'd love to hear about um, and if you if there's any particular videos that you'd like me to make please leave your suggestions in the comment box below and if you haven't already subscribed whoops hair stuck to me and um, if you haven't already subscribed maybe you would think of hitting that subscribe button and the little bell beside it that will notify you as to when i upload a video and if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for hitting that button and thank you for being part of the community here i so so enjoy talking to all of you and getting to know you um if i've missed out on any comments i will get back to them I try and get to every comment um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.